there's a new Spider-Man game coming out, and it's being made by Insomniac Games. Um, I, I thought it was supposed to be Sucker Punch, what I heard before, but no, I heard that wrong. It was actually uh, Insomniac Games, and uh, looks interesting. It does. I, I might check that one out when it comes out. I think it looks pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it, I've seen things in this game that I saw them do in the last Spider-Man game, which was Amazing Spider-Man, based on the movie. So I think they're going to take a lot of elements from that and do it in here, too. But either way, I mean, a lot of that happens in all the same, like, Spider-Man games. Like, a lot of Spider-Man games, at the end of the day, are pretty much the same. You swing around the city, and uh, you do Spider-Man stuff, and you fight villains and stuff like that. So it could be pretty cool, actually. So, you know, as long as you do it right. A um, couple of Spider-Man games I did like... Um, the Web of Shadows was, it wasn't all that great because, like, I think you had to do, what pissed me off about Web of Shadows is you had to do too many side missions to get to the main story, and, I, like, in the last two Spider-Man games, you didn't really have to do that. You could actually just go straight to the main story and do the side missions if you want, but, you know, if you, you do, like, stuff to, like, get upgrades and stuff like that, so all that, I'm pretty sure will more or less make it in this game, so it might be more of the same, but we'll see, but other than that, if they do it right, I wouldn't mind checking it out, Spider-Man game pretty cool. I like playing as Spider-Man games. Um, I do have one, one critique, though, about this Spider-Man game. Um, costume's awful. I'm, I'm sorry. Just, no. It looks cool, except for, like, the big frickin' white spider, like, on the front and back. That is just, um, that just looks bad. I'm sorry. It's just not, it looks like they tried to put the Venom symbol on his regular Spider-Man suit, and I think it would've been better if they made it black, I don't know, it just seems like it should be better as, as like, the black spider. It would work better as a black spider than a white spider. There's a bright white spider on there, and it just... I know, I know it's a nitpicky thing, but for me, it just doesn't work. I'm just like, nah, just, what the hell, don't, no, no, no. But, um, yeah, whatever. So that's all I really have to say about that. I mean, the game looks pretty good. I'll probably, I, I, I'll, I'll give it a, I'll give it a shot when it comes out. It's pretty good. So, uh, we'll see. I uh, just want to give a quick thought on that. Like I said, the game looks pretty good. I like Spider-Man games for the most part. Like, there are some good ones, there are some bad ones. Um, Ultimate Spider-Man was a really good game. I like that one. I lost my copy with it, though. I'm kind of pissed about that a few years ago. But it was a pretty good game. Uh, other than that, look, looking forward to it. Kind of see, kind of see, yeah, kind of see what kind of villains they're going to have in it. And, uh, guys, change the costume for the game because now, please. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. No, that's a bad costume. Fix the costume.